Well, joining us now to discuss the impact this legislation could have on the Israeli army is Itai Rouveni, the head of the Israel desk at NGO Monitor. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah. All right, so is this bill positive or negative for the Israeli army? What is your take on it? Well, we in NGO Monitor think that we're not opposing or supporting the bill. We're just thinking that there is no need for a bill in order to uh, address this phenomenon of foreign activists, foreign citizens, activists that are calling themselves human rights activists but are, are not, uh, they're trying to uh, document the idea of soldiers. But this phenomenon is well known. The IDF has been dealing with it since, I think, 2002, 2000, uh, 2003. And we, we don't think you need a bill in order to deal with it. Well, what kind of transparency should the Israeli military have when it comes to, you know, what takes place on the field? And, and I mean, obviously, this is a question that kind of applies to militaries in general. Of course, all, all the Western militaries, the militaries that uh, conduct uh, um, checkings and investigations uh, to themselves, inner investigations, also look outside to the, the world of inter international law, of the uh, rule of law, uh, war laws. And I think the IDF is doing it pretty much uh, better than almost any army in the world. The transparency, the accountability the IDF must have is towards the government who sent it to fight and towards the Israeli public. Then why, why the is world. a bill like this necessary? Where does it come from? It's coming, I think it's coming from a genuine feeling in the public that uh, the thin line between documenting and interfering has been broken. The, pub the public feels that the fact that you have a bunch of political activists with cameras that misusing those footages in order to interfere the anti-terror activities that the IDF is doing, the public actually feels it's a, it's a threat. It's something that affects the IDF activity on the ground. I can tell you from my own experience as a combat soldier still doing a reserve service, just came back last week, it's a, it's a thing that the army is discussing about and we should address it. No, no other army in the world will let foreign citizens just come closer to, to its operational activities and take a footage and then misuse this footage in international arena, in international forums, in order to bash the IDF back. All right, well, unfortunately, we have run out of time. Um, for our next interview, we would like to ask you about a report that um, your organization has just uncovered, well, not, it's not a report that the organization has released, but information that you uncovered um, regarding the European Union's role in funding a project that is actually promoting uh, personal legal proceedings against IDF soldiers. With, with cameras, by the way. With cameras, you know, which... Document right. operational activities. Um, yeah, the, well, that's for our next interview. Thank you so okay. much for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much.